Do you want to see a print-on-demand product that is predicted to do $26 billion in global sales by 2026? Even better, do you want me to lay out an entire business idea for you to begin selling this product? In the video today, I will give you design ideas, I will give you niche ideas, I'll show you samples of the product as well and talk about my recommended supplier for it. I'll talk about ways that you can begin marketing this product as well and even some ideas for additional products to add to your store as you begin to expand and your line of products. If that sounds good, stick around. If you're new here, hey Joe, it's folks here. I make videos here on the channel to show you some amazing print-on-demand products as well as some of the strategies that are working in my own print-on-demand businesses. Make sure to check out some of my other videos here on the channel if you want to see some of those things. And if you want to go through some step-by-step -step training from me, make sure to check out my course. There is a link down in the description. Inside, you'll get access to over 30 step-by-step -step videos showing you the process to build out your print on demand store and the best part is it is completely free and like I said there is a link down in the description so right here are the print on demand products I am talking about these are print on demand yoga mats in a few minutes I will tell you which print on demand supplier I got these from we will break down the quality of these and I'll show you some really great close-ups of them so you can see how nice they look but first I want to show you this study here I will put a link on the pinned comment of this video so that way you can check out this report if you'd like to, but this basically details what is happening with the yoga mat market size globally. You can see here that they said that in the year 2018, the yoga mat size of the market was 13.3 billion. And by 2026, they are expecting it to reach 23 billion. I actually may have said 26 billion earlier. Whatever I said, please disregard and only pay attention to what I just showed you. Obviously, this here is an estimate. And like I said, if you want to read through this, you can. To me, obviously, this does not not indicate print on demand sales because this is just talking about yoga mats in general but what it does is it breaks down the demand for yoga related products it talks about here where yoga and fitness clubs are witnessing growth it talks about other products inside of the yoga niche that are witnessing growth and basically to me as I read through this it tells me that there is demand for this product what I mean is obviously that report is just talking about yoga mat sales in general but as print on demand sellers we can definitely get a piece of of that. One idea I had for a design was doing something like this here, basically creating a yoga mat that had the flag of tons of different countries all over it. But then what you do is you allow people to customize some sort of text on it as well. So basically people are choosing the flag that matches the country that they are from, but then they are writing their name on the yoga mat. So basically it becomes a heritage type of a product where if someone is from Mexico, you could create them a Mexican Mexican themed yoga mat with their name on it. If they are from the United States, you could do something like this. You could even dive into specific states like this license plate here that is focused on people that live in Texas. You could do the same thing for tons of different states here within the United States. Here's an example here with a sports team reference. Now, obviously we wouldn't want to use the logo in the team name, but perhaps there's ways that you could do this with the city name and the colors that are associated with the team. Obviously you'd want to make sure to not violate anything that is copywritten, so be careful with that, it's just an idea. Here's an example here of an Argentina-themed yoga mat. This is obviously a license plate, not a yoga mat. You would just do this for your countries on your yoga mats. You can see lots of different examples here that I'm finding on Google for these license plates. You could do something very similar, but on a yoga mat. This store here is also pretty popular. I recently made a YouTube video here on the channel where I broke down some of the things that they are doing, but basically they're allowing people to take their dog and their pet and put the face of them on pairs of socks like this. You could do the same thing with a yoga mat that could make for a pretty cool product for someone who loves yoga. Another idea I had was for the Zodiac niche. You could make designs for people like these here that you see on these tapestries, except it would be for specific Zodiac signs like this. As we zoom in, you can see that this is a design made for people that are a Pisces born with in February 19th and March 20th. Again, if you wanted to do this for all of the different zodiac signs, I think that could be a cool idea. You could also do something that's a little bit more broad like this here, if I can get it to load up, where they are just selling to numerous zodiac signs at the same time. So let's talk quality of these yoga mats. I have two different samples here. I have this one here that is a little bit more zebra print, and then I have this one here. Now, these are both going to be from the same print-on-demand supplier, but inside of that supplier, 
supplier, there are going to be different vendors that these are from. And what I sort of want to do is compare these. We'll talk about the quality of them and then we'll take a look at them inside of the supplier so that way you can see the pricing and the shipping information as well. We will start with this one down here. Now to me, this one seems to be the higher quality one of the two. I don't really have a ton of experience with yoga mats and yoga products and stuff like that, but just the overall feel of this one does feel a little bit stronger, a little bit more durable. You can see here that the print quality is pretty spectacular. Honestly, there is really not a single spot on this yoga mat that feels like it is not well done. It is vibrant, it is nice, and overall, this one here feels super premium. Here's a nice little close-up of what the fabric actually looks like. In terms of how it feels, I would just describe it as soft, but not foamy. It almost feels like a mattress, if that <laughs> makes sense. Uh, in terms of thickness, not super thick, not super you know thin either. I don't really know if this is like typical yoga mat thickness or not. Uh, you can see the bottom here has like this neoprene material on it. Again, pretty sure that is relatively typical for yoga mat products. Apparently, you wouldn't want it to slip if it was on like a wood floor or something like that. So this is something that I would describe as a non-slip type Type of fabric. This here is our second option, and not that I think this one is low quality at all, I just think compared to this one here, it is not as nice. I actually received this one in the mail first, and when I received it, I thought it was really nice. I thought, wow, this is a really nice looking yoga mat, I can't wait to review this, and then I received this one, and I was like, oh gosh, this one here is definitely the premium one, and this one here is a little bit lower end. In terms of what this one is actually made of, uh, it is definitely just like a foam material. I'm not really sure how to describe it. You can see a nice close up here. This is the bottom, this white part here, but you can see that it is basically just a squishy foam, which again, makes it feel, I guess, a little bit less quality compared to something like this. I guess if you're doing yoga though, something that's a little bit more thick, like this one here, might be a little bit more comfortable. I think in terms of print quality, uh, this one here definitely is more vibrant. I feel like if you printed this design on this one here, here, it definitely would not come out as nice as it did over here. For some reason on this one, the colors appear to almost bleed a little bit. There's a little bit of blurriness to it as well. And that could just be, you know, with the actual design that's being used here. Both of these designs were not designs that I made. These were sent to me as samples from the print on demand supplier. So they put these together. But again, in terms of the actual print quality, I would say this one here definitely feels a little bit more vibrant compared to this one over here. This here is an Instagram account from a store that I reviewed recently here on my channel. And if you are going to start your own yoga mat store, I would advise you to do something very similar to what they've done here. They've ordered some samples. They've taken some really nice photos of them. They've also done a nice job at creating images like this that are using mock-ups. Basically what I'm saying to you is I would try to bring a little bit of branding around what it is you are doing. This is going to be a relatively premium product. It's not going to be cheap by any means. So I would think you would want to try to model what you're doing after something like this when it comes to your marketing. And here is the supplier for the yoga mats. It's going to be inside of Printify right here is the one that I said was a little bit more premium with the black back. They describe this as a rubber yoga mat. This one here they describe as a foam yoga mat. And you might be just as surprised as I am when you see this. They actually have the one that I said was a little bit less in quality at a higher price. It's going to cost you $49 or just $38 with a Printify Premium account. If you want to get a free month of Printify Premium, make sure to use the code NINJA50. Enter that into your payment account inside of your Printify app and you will get a free month of Printify Premium. But I thought that was interesting here where the foam yoga mat, which is from a provider called MIA Merchandise, is actually more expensive. It's $38 with a premium account compared to the $30 option here, which is the rubber yoga mat from Spoke Custom Products. If you have a Printify Premium account, it's going to be just $30 for this item. Earlier, I was talking about the fabric used on this, saying that it felt pretty soft and I didn't know how to describe it. They describe it here as a microfiber suede, which to me did feel very nice. Honestly, this feels like a premium product, even though it is less expensive than the other one. In terms of the mock-ups, Printify does have some pretty good ones in here for you to use to begin promoting the 
this product on your store. Same goes for this one here. They've got some great shots of it that are a little bit more basic. They have this one here that is a little bit more of a lifestyle photo. And overall, I think they've done a good job at giving us some good images here to be able to promote this product. Both of these items are the exact same size. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. The one here from Spoke Custom Products is 24 inches by 72 inches. And our other option here is the same exact size. In terms of the thickness, our white foam yoga mat is listed at 0.25 inches thick. As I scroll through the rubber yoga mat option here, I actually don't see anything in here about how thick it actually is. But in my experience from holding these products about two seconds ago, the foam one here is definitely a little bit thinner than our foam option here. So perhaps as I was mid sentence, my camera actually just died. So I wanted to just grab this other camera here and wrap up the video. That was basically what I wanted to show you. I wanted to give you some business ideas for this in terms of the designs. Let me know what you guys think about those down in the comments below. And if you have some other ideas, I'm sure there is a lot of potential with this product. One advice that I would give you is to definitely consider personalizing this item. I think ultimately that's going to help you to actually sell more items with it if you're able to personalize it because not only are you going to have to compete with everybody else that might be selling, you know, just basic yoga mats, but you're also going to have to charge a little bit of a premium price for this sort of an item. So personalizing it is going to help you to actually justify the cost that the customer is going to have to pay. The second thing that I said that we were going to talk a little bit about was adding additional products to your store to support the sales of yoga mats. Obviously you could sell yoga pants. I recently made this video here talking about print on demand leggings. I would definitely check that out because I think that could be a great option for you to add to a store that specializes in selling yoga themed products. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is this a product that you would consider adding to your store or is this a product that you might open up another store or just your first store trying to sell this as the star of that store? Let me know down in the comments. Either way, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.